Welcome to TerryWilson3.com, home of TW3. Are, are, are you ready to take your money, business, and life to the next level? You are worth more, and you're about to hear how and why. So buckle up and listen up as we journey to the next level. Please welcome your guys to reach your goals, the TW3 family. family. Five ways to improve your persistence. You know, if there is any attribute that we all could improve on, it's persistence. So many times we work on various skill sets. We work on different characteristics that we want to develop. All are good. But I would say the number one thing you could improve on and continue to prove on. And every time you make an investment in your persistence, you are making an investment in every other part of your life. Calvin Calvin Coolidge says nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than an unsuccessful man with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. But persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Napoleon Hill says patience, persistence, and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. Albert Hubbard said a little more persistence, a little more effort, and what seemed hopeless, excuse me, what seemed hopeless failure may turn to glorious success. Benjamin Franklin was famous for saying energy and persistence conquers all. Persistence is so important, and you probably have heard people say, you just got to persist, you just got to persist. But today, I want to give you five applicable ways, tangible action steps that you can do right now to help develop more persistence. Because at the end of the day, what is persistence? Nothing more than a mindset. And I'm telling you, As your mindset is developed, so is every other part of your life. You want to enjoy more, experience more, have more, do more, then you've got to develop the way you think. You know, in episode 520, Reagan and I was talking and we shared the interview that we had with Chris, one of our members, and his story is like my story, which is like your story and like so many other people's story, which is... Life comes at us sometimes. Life hits us in the face. Life throws us a curveball. Life is unfair. However, what I love about his story and what I love about so many other members' stories that I get to hear from and develop relationships with is how they might have gotten punched by life, but they literally embody that passage where it says a good man falls seven times but it gets back up, you know, and there's just something sweet about the overcomer. There's just something attractive about those who've been touched by pain, but have been able to take that pain and turn it in to the greatest profit that they could ever have in life. As I get older, I start to think back on those times which were painful which were disappointing, which were hurtful. And the more and more I reflect on those times and the more and more I think about those times and the more and more I see what's been developed in me, I have to say as much as I regret some of it, as much as I would never want to repeat it, I'm thankful for every moment. And so today, as we get through this list, I actually want to revisit an old episode that I had back five years ago. It was in episode 263 where I was calling a new elite member who had just been with us for two weeks, just got her elite system set up, her marketing system set up with us. It took her a week to go through the training and learn the system and set the system up. And then in week two, she launched her business and started her activity. And in that second week, she had literally sold $2,500 in the first week. Second week, she went on to sell $5,000. And then in the third week, 
she sold another $2,500, which net net when it was all said and done, her first few weeks in the business was well over $10,000. And you say, well, great, Terry, that's just one more success story. That's just one more, you know, feather in the cap of TW3. And I, I get why you would think that, but here's why I want you to hear this story. It's not so much to brag on TW3 or anything else. It's more to just highlight the attribute, the mindset of persistence. Because you're going to hear in her story, she and her child was literally homeless, living under a bridge, going into a coffee shop, going online, and trying to find what could she do to rectify and to deliver herself and her child from the situation they found themselves in, which they did not choose. Life had punched them, and that's where they ended up. So you're going to hear, after we go through this list, a story of persistence. And that is why I do what I do. That, this story, is why TW3 exists. It's not only the life raft for me. It's not only been the thing, the tool, the techniques, the training that got me out of a bad situation over 14 years ago. But it's helped so many other people. And I thought how apropos, how, how timely to have Chris's story played last week where he literally had $750 of credit on a credit card and $250 in his checking account. And he spent the last $250 he had in cash and $750 he did not have on a credit card to invest in a home-based business right after losing a wife, losing a job, losing all kinds of things that he needed to feed him and his child to literally within three months, he said he made over $25,000 and then went on that year through our tools and techniques, making over $200,000. And now, fast forward to 2022, is hosting conferences as a TW3 elite trainer. That is why I love what I do. I love the systems. I love the software. I love the strategies. I love entrepreneurialism. But more than anything, I love hearing these stories. And these stories are from people and are happening through people that have one attribute, persistence. So how do you develop persistence? Number one, dream big, but start small. Dream big, but start small. One of the worst things you could do is have such a low expectation, low goal, and small target that you're shooting for and hit it. Go for the stars. Go for, listen, do you, what do you want to make? Whatever, whatever pops in your head, then double it, triple it. Because you honestly can do more than you ever thought, dreamed, or imagined. You can. Allow yourself to dream big. Allow yourself to expect the most out of life. Allow yourself to. To go as far as your imagination will allow and you can. The reason we don't dream big is because we're trying to mitigate the disappointment we feel like we're just inevitably going to have because life has conditioned us to thinking nothing good ever happens. And if it does happen, it's so temporary. It's easy to be negative. It's easy to expect nothing. But I'm telling you, dream big. But start small. See, if I dream big and I want to make 500 grand a year, for instance, then what is that? What is that at the end of the day? It's 40, 40 some odd thousand dollars a month. Well, what is that? It's 10 grand a week. Well, what is that? It's two grand a day. Well, what is that? One package and a half, one and a half sales. If I break it down into small bite-sized quantities, 
then it's much more achievable because now I know if I'm making just one, one and a half sales a day, what does that mean? I got to have 50 qualified clients. What does that mean? I got to have two or 300 leads I'm pumping through a day. It's just numbers. It's just knowing my numbers, doing the activity and doing what I'm supposed to do. Dream big, but start small. Number two, know the reason behind your goals. Simon Sinek says you got to have a why. And it's so true. You know, sometimes things just don't go right. Sometimes things just blow up in your face. Sometimes people treat you poorly. They say things that are not true. They, there's all kinds of things in life that can hurt you and I. Sometimes disappointment happens because a deal was supposed to go through and it didn't. Sometimes people betray you. Sometimes people lie to you. Sometimes there's all kinds of things that can happen and go wrong. But if you know why you are doing what you're doing, if you know why you're pursuing this goal, if I know why I want to lose weight, I will lose weight. If I know why I want to earn this level of income, I will earn it. If I know why I want to do any particular thing in my life and my why is big enough, then nothing is going to stop me. It might slow me down. It might deter me. It might distract me for a season. But ultimately, if I persist, it will not stop me. So know your why. Number three, rest but don't quit. I'm a big believer in taking conscious breaks. It's important that we allow ourselves to rest in between our attempts and conquering the world. As they say, we can't give what we don't have. So, how can we persist towards our goals when we're already running low inside? One of the most important lessons I've learned about persistence is that taking a break doesn't mean we're quitting doesn't mean that we're losing time or we're being lazy. For me, rest is an integral part of the process, not a detriment to it. So if you're currently struggling with pursuing your goal or completing a task, perhaps it's your inner self selling you, excuse me, it's your inner self telling you that it's time to recharge before you make another move. One of the things I had to really get my head wrapped around when we started this new eating program that Gina and I are on is this idea that once a week, one meal a week, we're going to have a quote unquote cheat meal, which is to say we're going to eat things that are a little higher in carbohydrates and more sugars and fattier than what we normally do. And I resisted this for a long time because it just didn't seem right. And to be honest with you, my personality types, one of these that's sort of all or nothing. You know, it's very difficult for me to to one day do this, the next day do this. I'm one of these. I'm a creature of habit, and it's difficult. But then when I understood the science behind doing that, then when I understood the whole thing about carb cycling, when I understood that it's actually part of the process and will actually help me and makes the times where I am eating leaner in smaller quantities and intermittent fasting and all the things I was doing, it will make those times more effective if I do this thing that I felt like, I mean, I was feeling guilty about it. Well, once I was able to contextualize it and understand it's part of the process, well, it became much easier to do. So when you have to take a respite, when you do have to take a time off from something, when you have to go back and sharpen your axe, Don't begrudge that time away from chopping, but understand that time there at the stone sharpening that axe is actually going to make you way more effective when you get back to chopping. Number four, find different solutions to your setbacks. Sometimes we get too stubborn or rigid when it comes uh, to sticking to our goals, but it can be more beneficial to keep an open perspective that and find a different route to our destination. We have to determine when something is no longer working. It doesn't mean that we have made the wrong decision. It only means that there must be another way. We have to be creative in this part of the process. 
maybe the right tools are not available to us. So we have to craft them ourselves. Or perhaps we don't have to follow the traditional course so we can forge our own path. Doing the same things over and over again without seeing results can also hinder our persistence. If we find fresh solutions, then it can also help ignite a newfound energy that will keep us going. So, find different solutions when you face setbacks. Fifth and finally on how you can develop greater persistence is don't be afraid to start again. Starting again doesn't mean that you have failed. While it may take you longer to get to where you want to be, it's also an opportunity to identify your mistakes and perhaps go through the process much smoother the second time around. Also, keep in mind that we all have our own time to shine. Maybe this year isn't your year, but what if next year or the following? You don't have to quit altogether right now. Perhaps you have to wait it out and start fresh with more equipped versions of you. So don't quit and don't worry about if you have to start over. I know in business there have been many, many, many times I have found myself saying, hey, I just got to start all over because this just isn't working. But if you will practice those five things, I truly believe it will help you develop a greater sense of persistency in your personal and professional life. So number one, dream big, but start small. Number two, know the reason why that's behind your goal. Number three, rest, but don't quit. Number four, Find different solutions to your setbacks. And number five, don't be afraid to start again. You do those five things, I truly believe you will have a greater sense of persistency. And with greater persistency, you are going to find greater success. Now, I would like to play this interview for you that happened back in 2017. And it really, to be honest with you, wasn't going to be an interview. It was me on a phone that was going through our call center and all of our conversations through our call center is recorded. And so at the end of it, I asked the member here, I said, do you mind if I play this recording? Cause I think it would inspire so many other people. And she was very gracious. She made tons of money with us in a very short amount of time. She took that money, moved off to Florida and now is living on the beach, doing things uh, in a different career path. But uh, we served her, uh, for the time that needed to be uh, serving her. Uh, this wasn't a permanent situation for her. She just needed something that she could do that was in her wheelhouse, but it really wasn't coaching and, and technology wasn't her, well, it wasn't her passion, but it was a means to an end. And we were humbled that we were able to help her and see her uh, through a transition in her life and as much as she did for TW3 and selling a ton of systems in a short amount of time and helping a lot of people, uh, I believe uh, she would say we helped her just as much uh, because of uh, what TW3 and, and some of the things she learned that she's applying in her new business is able to do. So without further ado, I apologize here again for the audio quality on this interview, but it wasn't done in a studio. It was done over the telephone. But I do think this is going to inspire you. So let's take a listen. Well, hello, Terry Wilson. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am doing wonderful. I just wanted to reach out. I saw that you'd only been with us a couple weeks. And congratulate uh -huh. you on your uh, elite sale. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I was very, very, am very, very excited. <laughs> that was great. Awesome. Awesome. What what kind of background do you have? Oh, it's kind of all over the place. Um, most <laughs> recently and most successfully, um, well, I've, I've, I've been, a, been an entrepreneur and a single mom for um, 14 years. And, 14 years, um, single mom, entrepreneur, working from home. In various forms, yes. I started out... I was raised very clearly to be a housewife and not a not a not a career woman. And uh, when uh, my husband left, I had a what the heck now moment, 
And uh, so I started cleaning houses, and I built that business up and sold it. Um, I moved to Branson, Missouri, and started detailing boats. (laughs) Oh, wow. Built that that business up into a personal concierge service and sold that. Um, Moved back to Oklahoma, where I'm from, and... um, then I started managing an investment firm. I overcame some health challenges, dropped 180 pounds, and opened, uh, because of that and that journey, I opened, uh, I, was, uh, I fell into opening a med spa. I didn't ever mean to do it, which is <laughs> why, it didn't, why it didn't work long term. Right. Um, right. I owned two med spas and medical clinic in Tulsa for a while. Right. And, uh, and had a tremendous time. I loved it. I, I used to joke around and say my job was because it's very not it's very much uh not my upbringing or my personality, but I used to joke around and say, you know, my my job is to get people naked in fifteen minutes or less. <laughs> <laughs> in the Bible belt. In the Bible belt. So in you know, the Bible belt on top of that, yeah. I'm telling you, you're a heck of a salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> I I you know, I got such a kick out of it. I, I, I just I I I I, uh, I just really enjoyed that. And and that was my the thing I am as a as a as far as career satisfaction, that's the thing I'm the most proud of. I took that from a six hundred dollar investment to twenty thousand dollars a month. I got to bring home in eight months. Wow! And uh, and I was very 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 proud of that. I, I decided long in through there that it was going to be a great idea to get remarried. Uh, we almost made it as long as the Kardashians. <laughs> and um, I love in the divorce. <laughs> In the divorce, um, I ended up losing everything, and my daughter and I went from a six-figure income to homeless in seven months. Homeless under oh. a bridge. Oh my word! You're kidding. And that was four years ago. I ran away to New Orleans to try to get out of that situation and rebuild. And um, I've been been down here. Um, uh, whew, New Orleans has been a battle. New Orleans has been my um, New Orleans has been my testing ground, mm. and um, um, we're looking at uh, it's time to go, and uh, we're moving out of here in, in on on the seventh actually. Yeah. Um, so I have uh, faced a lot of demons, and I've overcome more than I ever knew I was going to have to here. So I'm sorry, I still can't talk about that one without getting really, really, really choked up. So no, um, listen, I. I I get it. I've been there. I totally understand. You're, I don't know if you read my book, but one of the chapters I talk about, you know, losing my business back in 07, 08, and going from, you know, a big fish in a small pond to standing in a benevolence food line asking um, to get some basic canned foods and dry goods just so I could go home and have food for my family. Yeah. And to this day, when I tell that story, I feel it. Yeah. So I totally, totally get it. <laughs> yeah. uh, people that have tasted some of that, you don't ever have to give them the rah-rah meeting, the motivational, you know. You know, they, they, there's just something inside them that just, uh, they're already, they already have a fire burning, you know, because... Yeah. I mean, it can do one of two things. It, you know, it can it can make you or break you, of course. But I can already hear that you've decided uh, this is going to this is going to make you, not break you. Oh, I've had my this far and no further moment a couple of times down right. here. Uh, New Orleans is a tough town, and I, I knew that, but I didn't know from personal experience. Yeah. And um, I wasn't here very long before I realized uh, probably could have picked an easier route. But, um, but be, I felt like the Lord put me here because this is, you know, we have, uh, we live in a neighborhood, we have tranny hookers outside our house every night. <laughs> we have, wow. We have, um, you know, we have mushrooms growing out of the wall in our kitchen and, uh, thirdly, we have a roof over our head, but it's, um, but it has been a, <clears throat> I have clawed and struggled for everything that we have here and I look at the home that we've created and uh, 
coming down here with a backpack for each of us. You know, we actually have a TV now. We have we have beds which to sleep in, new beds, new beds, which was important. We have, um, you know, things. We have chairs to sit in, and uh, unless you've been there, you have, you know, it, it, when you talk to somebody that hasn't been there, they have no point of reference. You know, there is no there is no comparison. Um, right. So. So anyway, I've, I have, I have in my journey here, um, gotten very clear on a couple of things. My my primary goal as a parent, my daughter's 15 now. I have a very short time I'm left with her, and uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not walking into an office to spend the last four years of my daughter's life with me as a kid, um, to to only see her two or three hours a day. That's not gonna happen. Um, right. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be. Um, my modern American dream is to be online. That's like coin that phrase, and I use it every day when I'm talking to people. It is my modern American dream. I'm going to be online. I'm going to be home. We're moving to Florida. I'm going to put my rear end in the sand with my kid, and I'm going to hang out and watch her have some fun. There I can be go. broke on the beach, or I can be broke in the bayou, and I'd rather be broke on the beach. Well, <laughs> I'd rather not I, be broke at all, but you, know. you don't have to be. Well, I can tell you, being in our in our system for just a a couple of weeks, it looks like, and you've already closed on uh, one big deal, and I don't know what you've got in the pipeline, but I can't imagine you don't already have a few others that's probably going to be hitting in the next few days as well. Just knowing the way you well, probably hustle. Um, I spoke with a young man today. And he's uh, he's uh, trying to get uh, trying to get approved for <coughs> pardon me, Terry. Uh, trying to get approved for their stuff. I've done a little bit of uh, voiceover work, and uh, mm-hmm. and I've worked in direct sales before. I've also brokered heavy equipment, so a lot of that is again is phone work and establishing those contacts and relationships very quickly over the phone. And and so what I like to what I like to do is. Um, you know, I like that we have that here. That it, it's we have an opportunity to affect people's lives in such a positive way, and and give people the, the chance to to live that modern American dream. That is really what it's about. At the core of it, it doesn't really. You know, everybody's reasons are different, but we're all trying to do the same thing. We all want geographical freedom. We all want time freedom. We all want financial freedom, and we just need a vehicle that's not going to lie to us. Right. There are so many people out there that are just like me. They just want to work. And right. that is the dang problem. We just want to work. Please, just give us a platform. Be honest with us. Show us what we've got. Show us how to use the blasted thing. And then let us work. Right. That's, that's it. That's, it's not complicated. Well, you've been with us two weeks and yes. already sold a $2,500 package. Uh, how did you do it? I found out. I I, I, I I talked to the guy. I, I you know I, to the to 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 my to my client. You know I, I I I literally just I just I went over the script, and then we had a follow up phone call. And the follow up phone call, and he'd watch the webinars, and he'd move through the sales funnel in the appropriate manner. And when he got back in touch with me, um, you know I asked him. I said, you know, you're 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 jumping right into the deep end of the pool, and I love it. I'd like to know why. Well, he's he's got a family, you know, he's he's and then, you know, he's got his his reasons and whatever they were when it was all washed out and everything we got down to the bare bones of it, he wanted the same thing. He wanted the time freedom. He wanted the geographical right. freedom. He wanted he wanted the what ability do you think to the yeah. ability to get started with no out of pocket cost basically. Uh was that a help to be able to do that yeah. to the the financing? It is. It lends it lends a credibility. Uh, it lends a credibility to the to the process, um, gotcha. and and the fact that that is a real uh, a real offer and it's not made up is, right. is of course incredibly important because um, you know again people don't want to. We've all been lied to by marketing companies. Right. You know, right. uh, if you've, you've been in this business for five minutes, you've been lied to by a marketing company. I don't care who you are. Right. Um, and I, and so I think that. The moving forward with integrity is absolutely key. You, you, sure. and this was this was key for me, Terry. It was, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get involved with another company where I have to be on the phone and know that I am making stuff up just to make a sale. Oh, absolutely. Not you know, no, um, I not you know, it's not just about closing the deal. You have to, you have to be able to lay down at night and know that when you go to bed that you've 
you've served someone in, a, in an appropriate manner, that you've right. given them an opportunity or shown them a vehicle to achieve their dreams. Well, you're not going to last long if you're involved in anything that's that's not legit or not, no, is not as not. reported, especially you know, online. Those, those aren't sustainable. Yeah, they, they yeah, aren't sustainable, but, but they are out there. Oh, yeah, they're here. Today. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm amazed. I've had members um, that got involved with this and that and the other, and they keep coming back. And I had one just last week said, you know, I should have stuck with you uh, last year because they were gone for about a year. And they says, mm-hmm. but I was looking at this. It seemed like, okay, ooh, big ticket sale, make $20,000 a sale. And it turned out to be nothing. I mean, you're selling literally a nothing burger. With no value, mm-hmm. it's just exchanging. It's just exchanging money, and it's the latest fad and everything. He says I would have been. He says I was making money with you when I was with you. I was helping people. I was making money without you know necessarily all the time selling something. I was in a business that actually helped people, and I was making money. And then I got you know in his words, got a little greedy. Thought I could you know. Mm-hmm cut a corner here and get to where I wanted to go quicker. And he says that and he, he lost his shirt because he ended up giving that mm. company, I think around 25 grand. Um, oh my goodness. And it was just a, a big hoax and, and they're out there. And that's the thing, you know, that you and I, cause we're online have to fight against is everybody nine out of 10 times when they come to us, if there are truly opportunity seekers, they've probably been exposed to the, the gimmicks and the games and, mm-hmm. Yeah. Getting them to take the time to just, hey, I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm just asking you to, you know, verify, check me out and see. But sometimes that's the biggest initial hurdle uh, online marketers will have is, hey, I'm not everybody else. <laughs> Look right. at this. Right. You know, I, and, I, and I agree. And, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Terry. I'm, no, I'm please. I'm to turn in there. The, one, one other point, and, and, and this is kind of the flip side of the coin. You know, we have we have a... We have a platform that is exactly what it is, you know, what, what it is, what it is billed as. Um, and but it is a lot of work. And I think that that's the other side of the coin. I was, I was visiting with a young lady in uh, Kansas City, um, and she is also a single mom. She's got two kids, and she is she is struggling and has been since the, since day one. You know, she's she's living in less than ideal conditions. Her standard of living is very low. And uh, and and she is in phone sales right now. She makes about seven bucks an hour, and oh, wow. uh, through she works through a call center. And so I was visiting with her and 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 talking with her about this and the opportunity and how excited I was about it. Um, and then at the end of the conversation, or toward the end of the conversation, she said to me, "She's like, well, I I see this, you know, I see it, but it is just so much work." It sounds like it is just so much work. She's like, I've never blogged before. I've never been, you know, I've been. I've looked at blogging or thought about it or I've heard about it, but I, you know, I don't blog and I don't have time to set that stuff up and blah 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 blah. And I said, well, your kids are not getting any younger, and <laughs> you know, you definitely have time. You've had time to be broke, so you know, you can sit at home and you can work for yourself and you can train yourself and you can be trained by by people that are qualified to teach you, or you can keep working and sitting on the phone doing the same thing at a desk. Right. Talking to people that you don't want to talk to, selling something you don't like, and you can keep doing it for seven dollars an hour. But you're working one way or the other. So what are you working absolutely. for? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and you know I, you've so, probably heard it because you've been in the same space as I have. The old adage: every day you get up, you're building a dream. It's just a matter of whose dream are you building, yours or someone else's. I love that. Yes, <laughs> that one is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one speaks yeah. to me on so many levels. <laughs> oh, it does me too. That's why it stuck with me. I mean, there's two lies that people, uh, to me, uh, sometimes fall susceptible to. Um, you know, among all of them, the top one is, and I, I just dealt with this with a guy yesterday. He is an, an existing business owner, entrepreneur, but he is struggling. I mean, he is not. He's not putting food on the table. Hasn't drawn a check in. About two months, he says. He's hmm. online looking for work. He's just looking for a job right now. So I offer him an hourly job that mm-hmm. we are credentialed with to, to be able to help. 
but he comes back to me. He wants to become one of our elite members. And so I says, well, the elite members are this and this, and, and we can get you started, but you'll have to get, if you don't want to pay for it up front, you'll have to get it financed, and we can get it underwritten where it doesn't cost you anything up front, um, and you've got six months, no interest, no payments to pay it off, but that's what it is. And boy, he, he came back to me. I don't work, or I don't pay to work. I'm not going to pay for a job. And, sure. And I mean, it's just like, it sort of flipped my lips. I was like, what, dude, what are you talking about? I offered you this over here. But you don't want to do that because you've been out there for yourself long enough. You know you want to work for yourself, which is fine. But there, it doesn't matter what you do. Whether you go into a 9-to-5 job or you work from home, you're going to pay. It's just what are you, you going to pay? Do. But you, you know, Terry, I've been that guy. I, I've been that guy, though. <laughs> I have been that guy. And and you know what? Um, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and let me just be a little more open about it. We are on food stamps, and I need them. We're, right. we, we're on food stamps because I can't buy groceries a lot of weeks. You know, right. we, 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 we live in a daggum tenement slum in New Orleans because I, 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 because, the, uh, because I lost my confidence and therefore my ability to think clearly when, my, when I lost my business. Uh, it was the thing besides my daughter that I was the proudest of in this whole world. And when that was taken away from me, when I lost that, it I took it I took an emotional and and mental hit that I never saw coming. And, and you know I thought when 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 on the day that I realized I was going to have to close the doors, I thought okay, I did it once. By golly, I can do it again. And 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 I wasn't being cocky. I just I just I, you know I just knew I've got the skill set. And and I took this thing from nothing and turned it into six figures in a year. And and that was brick and mortar. That wasn't online. All right. And I didn't. Right. And and let me let me step, t- take that a step further. I did not participate in any online or electronic based advertising that first year. I did everything on paper, meaning that I took the town that we lived in, and I took every dollar that we had because it was so I was so low tech that I took every dollar that we had and I went and I printed up thousands upon thousands upon thousands of business cards and flyers and my little daughter and I she was she was uh, <laughs> she was six and her little curls and we'd get in the car and we'd park on a block and I would walk into tanning salons nail salons hair salons I would stop people in Lowe's I would I would talk I didn't care where the heck we were I was worse than the Mary Kay lady let me tell you there you go if if you looked remotely like a female, you had a piece of my paper in your hand. <laughs> I I was chasing I was chasing I was chasing that dream so 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 hard. And I and I mean and and, and But she that's was, what it she, takes. That's what it but takes. That, and that's what that's my point though. That's my point. Is is that in, in and through that I had taken, you know, I I dabble here, I dabble there, you know, I became interested in in SEO and 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 affiliate marketing and then I realized just how big affiliate marketing is and went oh heck no so so I I, I I stayed where I was I stayed in my lane but I've been that guy you know I I, I laid out on a program once ten thousand dollars and and I thought okay by golly I'm gonna do it and then I realized you actually have to pay to continue to market that thing and I went nope not today you guys lied to me and off I went and you know, in retrospect, it probably wasn't that big of a deal, but it but it felt like a betrayal of sorts to me at the time, you know, sure. because I I had they had sold it differently than than you know. By the way, you have to pay to market your business, right? So, and then I've talked to people, and I've said the same thing. You know, if you really want people to market your business, I shouldn't have to, to sign up or pay for anything to market your company for you. Right. And um. And then at the same time, we've all been on calls where we hear about people that get on and do these amazing things on, on different programs. And you know, I don't care what you're talking about. You can be successful on several different levels. And, and a lot of platforms will work for just about anybody. But you have to get in and you actually have to work. So, well, and that was my point I, to him. I mean, with ours, let me just stop right there for just a second. The reason we started that sales affiliate program is so you don't have to buy anything. You do not have to make one purchase. 
to start marketing our system as a product and sell it and you make money without any investments but that he wasn't satisfied with that he wanted number one the commission level of a, an elite member and number two wanted to have all the software and assets well <laughs> you know how do they work I want to be like Michael Jordan, but I'm not six foot six and athletic. I'm five foot eleven, and you know I am who I am. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not jumping from the foul line and making dunks. I'm not LeBron James. I'm not name your sports whatever. I am who I am, right. and so you deal with the reality of what you. And I if and I told him I says, why would you expect to have a blog, a dialer, uh, all these training modules how do you expect to get that for free to be able to turn around and train others i I just don't understand that mindset no and and you know what i and 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 i and 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 this is where this is really the the point i was i was driving toward terry and 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 it just reinforced what you're saying help me (laughs) um a couple weeks ago a couple weeks ago when i when i when i did go ahead and sign up i responded to the ad because at the time I thought being on the phone, making a hundred dollars a sale, I can do that, and I know I can, I, and, I, and I and I and I can, you know. Period. That's just I have that skill set. Um, you know, if I'm going to get a hundred dollars commission on a product, that's 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 great. Just give me the people to talk to, and I'm good to go. So I was so I initially responded to the ad because of that. Um, when I watched the webinars and understood, you know, you, you, those webinars are beautiful and they make the opportunity crystal crystal clear. And when I saw the when I saw what was in front of us, you know, I looked around and I said, Okay, this is actually a much, much, much better long term answer because honestly if I'm if I'm working on the phones for somebody else and I'm just making a hundred dollar commission and blah da, da da it's still good money, you know, better better than being in Walmart. But at the same sure. time, um, you know, when you when you had looking at, okay, well I can make four hundred dollars or or twelve hundred dollars or, you know, whatever it is. Um, then of course I want that opportunity. All right. Well, that week I had just discovered that uh, also in that very same week, this all happened in one week. Please keep this in mind. I saw the opportunity. I found out that my credit had been hacked. I have had my identity stolen. So my credit is now nobody's going to loan me a toothbrush status. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, So I couldn't come in where I wanted to, which was the elite level, of course, because that's where, you know, you have the full potential and opportunity. And so, um, and I was looking at getting the lights turned off that week. Oh, wow. So I'm looking at I got to pay an electric bill. I got to pay a three hundred dollar electric bill. Uh, I got to find food to eat, and and I need a job because, uh, like I said, what we've done, what I've been doing here, and how I've been working here in New Orleans is um, is coming to an end, and we, we've been looking at moving anyway. So I've got all this stuff going on in my head. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where am I going to relocate. Uh, you know, what am I going to do with my daughter, and 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 how are we going to get all this? How are we going to keep body and soul together? We cannot stay in this house. They're closing the house in August. I am up against a hard, hard deadline, and, and the pressure is on. Here, here's this opportunity, and I need $500, and we're in the war. And I'm not even, I, I, here I am three weeks later. I can't even tell you where that $500 came from. Wow. I kept the lights on. I found what I needed to find. I came up, I came in as a sales rep. I, I, I came up with another $300 to start marketing on Craigslist. And here we are now, and I'm in. I, I mean, I'm in all the way. I don't have, I don't have any bridges left to burn. I don't have any, I don't have any tunnels. I don't have any escape routes. I don't have jack. I got to move out of this house in two weeks. I got to have the money to do it, and this is the vehicle we're going to use to make that happen. So, yeah, you know what? I'm telling you. I've heard you hear people tell, and this is this is the point to so this entire situation, Terry. Is you hear people say those. Stories. You hear them tell, and I am finally that person. Yeah. I finally, I had to get down here so dang low where I am looking at the lights are going to be turned off. We're about to be homeless again, and I need $500 plus marketing expenses to start a business. You know what? Bring it on. Let's do this. Right. And we're doing well, it. I mean, yeah. there's no shortcuts. <laughs> there's, there's no get out of jail free cards. There's no genie in the bottles. No, but and, there and, are, and, and let me, but there let me are you, strategies that work. There are strategies. There are. And you use the strategy and you um, you don't try to short circuit the thing. You just work the system and the system works. If you just yep. do it and be faithful just with it, it like you have. I mean, I just, I just, 
like I said, there are a whole Don't reason try I called and said that. that wheel. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the reason I wanted to call. I said, because, okay, here's someone who's just been with us, like I said, uh, just a couple of weeks and already sold one of our top packages. And I'm seeing the activity. And I was like, okay, I want to reach out to this person, get to know them a little bit just to see. And then if they've got a story, you know, maybe put it on the podcast just to inspire other people. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that conversation. Uh, That's just one more member that we have been able to help over the last 14 years. And it is a a truly, truly the most rewarding part of TW3 is being able to hear stories like that. And I'm telling you, if there was ever a time to take control of of your money, business, and life. It is now, especially with what's all going on and these new components that we've added to TW3 with the tools that we have, with uh, the new hourly opportunities that we are offering as well. It is just a great time, a great time to be here. If you would like more information on how you could either go full-time or part-time, make up to $40 an hour working from home, plus high commissions on top of all of that, have everything you need from the various tools so you never have to cold call to techniques to how to use these tools so you can get as many leads as you want to the training that's going to be there through the thick and thin uh, mastermind group that we have so you can be around a group because let's face it folks uh, you become who you behold you know show me your friends i'll show you your future you want to go further than hang around people that have gone further uh, that's what this mastermind's about, and our elite members are afforded that opportunity to be in the room with some of these guys. If you would like more information on that, simply text WFH. That's work from home, WFH. Text that to 864-507-9696. That's 864-507-9696. Text WFH to 864-507-9696 and I'll send out information on how you can join us for as little as $0 down and as little as $20, $30 a month based, in, based on your credit. And we can get you matched up with companies that are going to pay you hourly. You're going to have our system to where you're going to be able to drive leads when you're not working for those companies and you're going to be able to make hourly and commission all at the same time on your terms so it's a great time to do something different and i'm telling you the only way you're going to beat this inflation is outpace it and outpace it with greater income and that's what we're here to help you like we've helped so many others in the last 14 years so till next time we'll see you later Thank you for listening to our show today. If you have any questions or would like to speak with us about your goals, then please call or text us at 864-507-9696. Reach out to us online at terrywilson3.com. 